now for your official introduction, the fighter fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 92. He's 24, stands 6'5". He fights out of Gracie Bar at Derby and hails from Derby, Joe Smedley. And his opponent fighting out of the blue corner, weighing in at 93. He's 22, stands 6'7". He fights out of Sheffield, shoot fighters and hails from Wakefield, Stephen Ellis. Your referee, Mr. Simon Stephenson. Well, ladies and gentlemen, cage door set to close on this amateur light heavyweight contest. Stephen Ellis fighting out of the red, sorry, the blue corner. He represents Sheffield shoot. He's in the black shorts trimmed with red. Sheffield shooters written over him as he takes on Gracie Barra Darby's Joe Smedley. Yeah, two teams um, well versed in the UK scene. Um, Gracie Baradabe always managed to create some kind of memory here on Almighty Fighting Championship. They have done for many shows now, but it's Ellis with the uh, strong takedown from the body lot to start with. Yeah, and although you got to imagine that being a Gracie Bar man, working from your back isn't a isn't a new position, is not where you want to be right at the start of an MMA contest. Oh, 100%, 100%, but we've got two um, very jiu-jitsu based teams here. Sheffield Shoot Fighters is a very jiu-jitsu based team, and he's looking just to, uh, Steve Ellis just looking to tie up the Kimura, go into the straight arm bar. Like to see him maybe control the arm a little bit more, pull it a little bit, the hand towards the armpit, but right now, Ellis is he just, just posting on it. Is he just, was he sort of looking for the space to be able to get that arm behind the, the back and, and lift it, or is he just looking as a transition? I'm not, I think he was actually committing to the Komoda there. He just let it get away from him a little bit into the straight arm bar, and the straight arm bars are very, you're either very good at him or you're very bad at him. <laughs> you know, he's, there's no gray area with a straight arm bar, with, with the um, straight arm bar, so. Well, he's in a very good position here at the moment. He is just staying above his man, which he's going to uh, and looking the, to I mean, smother the mouth. Smother in the mouth. The, a one and no amateur. It's, it's a mean, lovable, dirty tactic. The game. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome, though. It, it just, is. It is. And, and you know, you, you've got to be in there and you've got to exhaust all options to make it go your way, every, right? You know, I'm you not, can, I, I do it. Yeah. Nothing dirty about it. It's not against the rule. I just it. think. Again, it shows the games. It shows the oh yeah, you know, amateur second fight. Yeah, I'm gonna cover the cover the mouth. Now Ellis could do with maybe reaping oh. that leg of Smedley's, but Smedley's managed to free it and could be looking to stand. Um, it's just that Ellis is above him, so when he stands, ah. he gets his back taken or he carries the weight. But Ellis looking to transition to the rear naked choke, and Smedley just looking to fight the hand right now. I mean, everything that Ellis did there was to set up oh, yeah, getting the yeah. neck. I mean, and he looks like he might have it in, oh, in yeah, right it now. Oh, yeah, tight. With only the and single hooks, done. the Ellis gets it done. And, and does it and nice quickly finish, and well. Yeah. Beautiful finish. And Ladies and gentlemen, after two minutes, 24 seconds of the first round, your referee, Mr. Simon Stadnitsky, calls a stop to the fight. Declaring your winner by rear naked choke, Stephen. Ellis, please show your appreciation for Joe Smedley.